And to double click on that, because you kind of at the end there mentioned where I feel like a lot of times when longevity and that word gets thrown around, it is on the how long you live side. Um, so I think it's worth double clicking. Why do you think it's so important for someone to not only care about how long they live, the lifespan side, but also the health span side that you said there, and also how well they live? There are several reasons for this to be relevant. Um, <clears throat> you know, first you can think of this kind of at the level of just a, a thought experiment, right? So in the, in the, in the book, I write about the Greek God Tithonus and how he wished for immortality. Um, he was of course granted his wish, but because he had forgot to ask for, uh, eternal youth, he became, you know, this, uh, you know, in, indefinitely suffering human being who continued to age in perpetuity while his body declined. So I, I think just sort of theoretically, I think anybody who thinks about it for long enough would realize that any desire to live longer has to be accompanied by a desire to preserve health span. So I believe that anybody who thinks they want to live to be 200 implicit within that, I hope is the desire to function as someone who is much younger, right? If I, if, 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 if a person says to me, I want to live to be 95, well, I'm assuming, and if not, we'll tease this out. I'm assuming they don't want to look like most 95 year olds, right? What I assume is I want to live to be 95, but I would hope that in the final years of my life, I function like a 75 year old, right? A healthy 75 year old. So, 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 so that's why I think the second thing here is, and the reason at least for me that health span is such an important focus, and we're going to talk I'm sure about medicine 2.0 versus medicine 3.0, but one of the most important concepts within medicine 3.0 is an equal obsession with health span as lifespan. And again, health span by itself is valuable at any given age whether it's 40, 50, 70, or 80, to, for your age, have better physical, uh, a better physical body, a better cognitive mind, better emotional health, always exceeds being below it. It's so self-evident, it doesn't require stating it. Secondly, all the things that you do to improve your health span are twofers. And anybody who works for me, knows what a twofer is and a threefer and a fourfer and how much I hate one furs. So a twofer means you're getting a two for the price of one. So when you do all those things to improve your health span, you are also improving your lifespan. You could make a case that most of the benefits in um, lifespan, uh, roughly I would say three quarters of the benefits you can get towards a longer life come solely from pursuing better health. I want to say that again, because I think it is, I, I, for me, at least it's such a profound statement. If you never thought once about trying to live a longer life and focused relentlessly on how can I improve my strength, my endurance, my stamina, my, you know, and again, all the nuance around these things, my balance, my coordination, my processing speed, uh, my working memory, my emotional health, my happiness, my relationships. If you, if you only focused on those things and never once thought about heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease specifically, I still believe you would capture three quarters of the way towards optimizing your lifespan. Again, it, I think it's a bold statement. I can't confirm that that's exactly correct, right? I mean, that's not that's not a studyable question, but my conviction is quite strong that health span, pursuit of health span, is valuable in its own right, even if it didn't lengthen life at all. And the fact is, it probably does, and it probably does to a greater effect than all of the efforts that largely medicine 2.0 puts directly into lifespan extension. Thank you.